Good afternoon from the Rusland Observatory. I'm going to test the time lapse today. There's a sea star finding the sun on its own. Let's see if, if it's going to succeed again. I pointed uh, the sea star north and then uh, let it go. Looks like it has found the sun. Okay. Where is the sun in the center? Uh, we just click on yes. And uh, uh, I'm going to take a video, a regular video initially, and then test the time lapse. Before I take a video, I'd like to uh, double check the autofocus. It's, this is definitely better than it was originally. Uh, let's grab a 30 second video. And then uh, we'll try the time lapse. And there is 30 seconds. We can go to time lapse. Up here it's showing one second, which is the time lapse that it's taking. Uh, I'm going to grab two minutes, so that will give us 120 frames. So it's taking a snapshot every second. Two minutes is going to feel like eternity here. And with the clouds and all, the time lapse is going to look uh, surreal. At least we have the sunspots there. The big sunspot is 3477, I believe. And uh, next to it, to the left, that cluster of three sunspots is uh, active region 3480, AR3480. So we're one minute into the time lapse. And you can see the count there of uh, 72, 73, 74. It's how many frames it has taken so far. It's taking one a second. So we will end up with 120 frames when I click stop. If all works as planned, uh, 120 frames at 30 frames per second, we should end up with a four second time lapse. We're getting very close to uh, <laughs> cloud. This is one of the nice features that I like, being able to turn on and off the controls on the side. 120 enough. And it says video saved to the album. Let's exit the C Star app for just a moment and go to the album on the tablet. And uh, there they are, the 4 seconds and the 28 seconds. Uh, I thought I had taken a 30 second uh, capture, but looks like we end up with only 28. Uh, these are other images that I have taken with uh, C Star. I like the fact that it saves the low resolution, well, the MP4 videos 
and the final images uh, on the tablet, so I won't have to retrieve them from the SD card. Uh, this is the 28 second uh, video. Uh, no surprise there. Possibly the only surprise to me is that it's two seconds shorter than I would have liked it to be. And let's look at the time lapse. Four seconds is what I expected with 120 frames at 30 frames per second. There is the time lapse. That's a four second video consisting of 120 frames taken at one second each. Uh, you can see the tiny uh, sunspots next to 3477 that appear as the clouds go in and out. Okay, let's go back uh, to the C-Star app. Let's hope it's still there. It is there. And uh, come on, yep, there it is. It is still tracking nicely. Let me see if I can change the one second. Yeah, it goes all the way to a minute. I'm going to try with 10 seconds for just a moment. And uh, we'll see what happens if we click on time lapse. Sure enough, if you look at the clock on top, and the counter at bottom, it's taking one frame every 10 seconds. So if I take about 40 seconds worth, I'll end up with a video of only four frames. And at 30 frames per second, it's going to be a blur at best. So we have three frames. And the clouds in and out are uh, driving the auto exposure crazy. I got it. Uh, let's go back to our file system to the gallery. And there should be a, f a fraction of a second. There it is. And yep, that is a uh, time lapse of only four frames. So time lapse worked for us. So for now, uh, so long from the Rooster Observatory. Uh, clouds permitting, we will see you tonight. I'll have to uh, decide on the targets, but I'm very tempted to do uh, Messier 33 again, Triangulum, but do it with uh, IR pass to see how much of the nebulosity inside that uh, we can get. Thank you.